Ghana has the 46th longest road network in the world. Safer roads add to the socio-economic development of Ghana. Road signs are placed in specific areas to ensure the safety of drivers and other road users. It is due to this that the design, positioning and specification of these road signs cannot be overemphasized and the Ministry of Roads and Highways will find it very important to hand over such a delicate job to a reputable firm as Fakol. Currently, Fakol is the major road safety company in Ghana who produce major or much of the road signage in accordance with the Ghana Highway Authority. I worked into the offices of State Construction Corporation, uh, then at Circle. In the reception area for the MD, I opened the brochure and I saw cut eyes. When I got the opportunity to see the SEC managing director, I inquired why it was that there were no cut eyes on the roads in Ghana. He indicated that they've moved on from cut eyes to reflective line markings. So and that led me to ask him which uh, companies were in Ghana that carry out line markings. He said there wasn't any company, but contractors normally come from overseas to do line marking. It got me interested in the business to have a local contractor to provide line marking as an activity for road safety in the country. The Germans came back to us and said, could we provide crash barriers? We made research and we were able to provide W-beam crash barriers. After some time, these same Germans came back to me and said, could we now up our act and start providing traffic signals? So I made inquiries to Siemens UK, and the Siemens made investigations about our company, our competence, our ability to perform. We managed to get an electrical engineer to go to England to be trained on the traffic light installation process and programming. Within the period of 1989 to 1995, Fakwa Road had been transformed from a line marking company and added on road traffic signage and added on crash barriers and then finally added on traffic lights as its bag of road safety equipment or facilities or services. From the purchase of a small line marking machine to accomplishing great feats, the future of FACOL gets brighter with expansion strategies, which began with purchasing equipment. FACOL owns its equipment, and one thing we focus on is the operators of these equipment. Our aim is to eliminate any hazards that could occur on the job site or on the way to the job site. Having the wrong person behind the right equipment can be a failure to the company. So our efforts go into selecting the right people to operate the right equipment. We're here at in Sawam area in the eastern region. It's a stone quarry. We produce stones here for the head office in Accra for the road maintenance works. Our main products that we produce from here uh, products ranging from quarry dust, quarry waste, 040, 5 to 10 millimeter. We have your 12 millimeter. We have your 14 millimeter, 20 millimeter, 25 millimeter, 30 millimeter, as well as 40 millimeter. One thing that comes to mind when people are being briefed about a quarry for the first time is whether it is that we're into good business practices. What we definitely are, and some of the, the ways we ensure this is by getting all our permits together. So environmental protection agency permits, to fire service licenses, to mineral commission permits, uh, explosive permits, transportation permits, to municipal assembly licensing and all that. DOCAF is uh, 15 years and FACOL is 30. No, FACOL is one of our major customers. We wish that FACOL gets more projects and buy more of our products in the future.